Maldivians will vote once again in the runoff elections on the 30th of September. However, poll results shown last week has brought to light that neither candidate has secured the mandatory 50% of votes needed. Besides domestic problems, the results and outcome of this election will show whether India or China will garner influence on this tiny Indian Ocean island. Here's more. The two men at the top of the pile of three presidential candidates in the Maldives. On the left, the incumbent president Ibrahim Mohamed Soli. Pro-India Soli leads the Maldivian Democratic Party. Soli won 39% of the vote. On the right, main opposition candidate Mohamed Muizu, who won 46% of the vote, 7% ahead of Soli. Muizu is distinctly anti-India and promises to remove all Indian soldiers there. More importantly, he is strongly pro-China. The third player with this 7% is Ilyas Habib of the Democrats' party, led by former President Mohammad Nasheed, who broke away from the ruling MDP. And which way he tilts who he supports will be critical. Both India and China are vying for influence in the small state, made up of some 1,200 coral islands in the Indian Ocean. It lies on the main shipping route between the East and the West. Like never before, perhaps, the outcome of last Saturday's poll showed a nation divided between pro-West values on one hand and China-leaning ideologies on the other that view Western values with suspicion. A lot now depends not on the frontrunners but on this man, ex-president and present parliament speaker Mohammad Nasheed. Nasheed had quit the ruling MDP in June this year. India had backed solely over Nasheed. Three months on, there are hints Nasheed may back Mohammad Muizi despite his strong anti-India stand. The next few weeks will decide which way the wind blows. And more prominently, whether the Maldives tilts towards China in the Indo-Pacific scheme of things.